Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm a tutor at Sky Academy. We're in the topic of algebra within the Year 11 Standard course, and we're looking at simplifying algebraic expressions, which comes under MSA1. So in this video, we're going to have a look at adding and subtracting like terms as a way to simplify an algebraic expression. So for our example, we can have a look at simplifying the expression of uh, 4x plus uh, 3y minus 2x plus 1y. So this is our algebraic expression and we are going to simplify it by adding and subtracting some like terms. So if we have a look in the blue box here, it's going to tell us some steps um, or the ways to simplifying and adding um, and subtracting our like terms. So firstly, step one says find the like terms, which are the terms that have the same pronumerals. And we know our pronumerals to be the letters. So the letters in our algebraic equation, for example, are X and Y. So they're our pronumerals. Um, they um, become um, part of your term. They're an unknown number that you don't know. So we use um, letters to represent this unknown number. So we have to find the like terms. So I'm going to do it in two colours um, because we have two groups here. We have an X group and we have a Y group. So like terms are going to be the ones that have the same pronouns. So we have 4x, so a like term to 4x is going to be a uh, group that has the same pronumeral of x. And so we have minus 2x here, so that's going to be a like term. And then we're going to do our y's. So we have a plus 3y and a plus 1y. So those, that's step one done. And these are our like terms, our X's in red and our Y's in yellow. So step two says only the like terms can be added or subtracted. Unlike terms cannot. So we know when we're doing adding and subtracting, only the red can be added or subtracted and the yellow can be added and subtracted. You cannot do yellow and red because they will be unlike. They're not the same, they have different pronumerals. We can only do red and red, and yellow and yellow. So we're gonna go ahead and do step three now, where you add or subtract the coefficients or the numbers that come before the pronumeral. So we have four X in red minus two X in red. And so if we go ahead and do the number part of that, we have four minus two, so that's gonna leave us with two X. Then we're gonna do the yellow part. So we have three Y plus one Y, and we can do the number part and then keep the pronumeral the same. So if we do the number part, it's three plus one, so that's four, and we keep the pronumeral the same because they are the same pronumeral anyway. They are like terms. So we keep them the same. So that will be 4y. So now to simplify our expression, we have 2x plus 4y. So the x's was our red and the y was our yellow. And so what we did was we did 4x here in red and we minus 2x. So that left us with 2x where you minus the coefficients but keep the pronumeral the same and then we did our yellow so we did 3y plus 1y to give us 4y so that's how you simplify ad algebraic expressions by adding and subtracting so let's have a go at doing an example now so we have the algebraic expression of 5x squared plus 6x minus 3x squared minus x. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight in groups our like terms. So we have 5x squared as one group. So I'm gonna look for the other x squareds. So we have minus 3x squared. So that's one group in red. 
Then we just have x. So we have 6x minus x, and that's going to be another group. So in red, we have 5x squared minus 3x squared. And we know that we can subtract the number part and keep the pronumeral part the same. So we're going to subtract the coefficients or the numbers. So 5 minus 3 is 2, and we can keep the pronumerals the same as x squared. And now we can do the same for the pink. So we have 6x minus x. We can keep the number part the same. And so we're going to get 5, and we can keep the uh, pronumerals the same, so we're going to get x. Now, you might be wondering, why, how did we get 5? It's just 6x minus x. We don't have a 1 to subtract to make it 5. Well, we actually do. So here, we can pretend that this is just 1x. Because if we times 1 by any number, it's just going to leave us with the number 3. Or 1 times 4. It's just going to leave us with 4. So if we do 1 times x, it's just going to leave us with x. So another way of writing x is 1x or x. So if you ever see an x by itself, just pretend there's a 1 out the front, which means it's 1 times x. And so then you can minus 6x minus 1 times x, and um, then you can get 5x. So now we have to put these back together into an algebraic expression like they originally was. So there was 5x squared plus 6x minus 3x squared minus x. So we have simplified the reds to 2x squared. Then we have a plus here. And so we can do plus 5x. So what we did was we added together the 5x squared and the um, 3x squared. And then we did 6x and negative x. And so subtracting those um, from each other leaves us with 2x squared. So 5x squared minus 3x squared gave us 2x squared plus 6x minus x. So that left us with 5x. So that would be our simplified expression um, for this question. 2x squared plus 5x. If for, um, for whatever reason, we actually had a 7 here. So say our expression was 5x squared plus 6x minus 3x squared minus 7x instead of the 1, we had a 7. You could do the x squared part the same, so it would be 5x squared minus 3x squared, which gave us 2x squared. And then we would do our x's the same, so 6x minus 7x. And if you do 6 minus 7, that's going to leave us with negative 1, to so be negative 1x. And we know that when we do, um, when we write negative 1x, it can just be written as negative x because remember, 1x is the same as x. And so negative 1x is the same as negative x. So then our, our um, equation would change to 2x squared minus x. So that would be a difference between two um, algebraic equations. They look similar, except the only difference was we had a 7 here instead of a 1. And because we had a 7 here, it turned our number into a negative x. And so instead of plusing, we have a negative, And so it must be a negative x there.